This customer dropped off a 2011 Pure White Challenger RT Hemi for a two-stage correction and a five-year ceramic coating. Now underneath the shade, this thing looked absolutely amazing, but once we brought it into the sun, you can visibly see the swirl mark scratches and defects in the paint. Comparing this to a black car, Black paint is a lot more visible than white paint. However, once the swirl marks become this visible, it is a good idea to go ahead and get your paint restored to the best possible condition that you can. Our usual process for a paint correction always begins with a deep outside pressure wash, a foam bath, decontamination, and then we can inspect the paint before and after some compound and polish. This is one of my 5050 tape lines, so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here as I move the light back and forth. You can definitely see the clarity in the paint. Once I see that my correction light is not showing me any more scratches or squirrel marks, I always bring my cars and I do a sun check, which means I pull it right out into the direct sunlight, take a closer look, and then I can go ahead and finish the polishing process, getting ready to lay down the ceramic coating. Now when you're getting ready to coat a vehicle, the temperature of where you're at plays a huge role in how that is going to apply and lay down correctly. On this day, it was over 100 degrees outside and I wanted to bring the car indoors to a much cooler area where I can allow the paint to cool down before I start applying the actual ceramic. Today I'll be applying Crystal Serum Light by G Technique and as always, I'm going to take it step by step, very slowly, panel by panel, inch by inch to make sure that I'm properly covering this entire car for its five year protection. This Challenger has been detailed both inside and out. The engine bay also got deep cleaned and it's protected with a five year ceramic coating. We'll catch you guys on the next detail.